Hey everybody, Jackson here. Welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into the world of cybersecurity and ethical hacking. Kaylee Linux just dropped their 2024 release and you know what that means? A whole bunch of shiny new hacking tools to play with. This release is packed with features that are going to make your hacking experience even more powerful and efficient. We're going to be diving deep into the top 10 tools that have me the most excited. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this. These tools are game changers and can significantly enhance your cybersecurity arsenal. Whether you're a seasoned vet or just starting out in the world of ethical hacking, these tools are going to up your game like crazy. They are designed to be user-friendly yet powerful enough to handle complex tasks. So grab your favorite energy drink, fire up your collie box, and let's get this party started. Make sure your system is ready because we're about to embark on an exciting journey through the latest and greatest in hacking tools. Hello, cybersecurity enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. It's always great to have you here as we explore the cutting-edge tools and techniques in the cybersecurity world. Today, we're diving into the top 10 penetration testing tools that every ethical hacker should have in their toolkit. These tools are essential for anyone serious about cybersecurity. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out in the field, these tools will help you elevate your penetration testing game to the next level. Let's get started. Stay tuned because you won't want to miss a single detail. All right, first up we've got a mass, and let me tell you, this thing is a beast when it comes to subdomain enumeration. We're talking about uncovering those hidden corners of a target's attack surface that you wouldn't believe. A mass doesn't mess around, it goes straight to the source, scouring search engines, certificate transparency logs, you name it. It's like having a private investigator for subdomains, except way faster and less creepy. Seriously, if you're serious about reconnaissance, you need a mass in your life. It's like that essential multi-tool you keep in your backpack. Except instead of fixing a leaky faucet, it's finding vulnerabilities. Don't even get me started on the integrations. It plays nice with all the other cool kid tools out there. A mass, check it out! Next up, we're diving into the world of Android app security with Androbugs. This tool is like a scalpel for APK files, dissecting them to find any vulnerabilities hiding under the hood. We're talking insecure coding practices, misconfigurations, the works. Androbugs doesn't just point out the problems, it gives you detailed reports so you can actually fix them. It's like having an x-ray vision for Android apps, except instead of seeing bones, you're seeing security flaws. If you're doing any kind of mobile penetration testing, Androbugs is your new best friend. It's like having a security audit on speed dial except way cheaper and less judgmental. Trust me, your Android apps will thank you for it. Ever wish you could turn back time and see what a website looked like before they changed it? Imagine being able to revisit the exact moment when a website had that perfect design or crucial information you needed. Well, with ArchiveBox, you can. This tool is a game changer for anyone who needs to keep a record of web content. This self-hosted web archiving tool is like having your own personal Wayback Machine, except way more powerful. It offers more control and customization options. We're talking about saving entire web pages, PDFs, screenshots, you name it. Archivebox can handle a variety of formats to ensure nothing is lost. Archivebox keeps a detailed history of all the changes, so you can track how a website has evolved over time. This is invaluable for research and analysis. It's like having a time machine for the internet. Except instead of going back to see dinosaurs, you're going back to see old versions of websites. It's a digital historian's dream. Whether you're monitoring a competitor or just want to keep track of your own digital footprint, ArchiveBox is an essential tool for any security professional. It helps you stay ahead of the curve. It's like having a security camera for the internet, except instead of recording video, it's recording entire websites. This ensures you have a comprehensive record of web activity. Chapter 4. Asset Finder, your digital treasure hunter. All right, let's talk about Asset Finder, the tool that's like having a bloodhound for digital assets. This thing sniffs out domains and subdomains like nobody's business, aggregating data from multiple sources to give you a complete picture of your target's online presence. It's like having a private investigator for the internet, except instead of finding missing persons, it's finding missing websites. Asset Finder is all about speed and efficiency making it the perfect tool for quick reconnaissance tasks. It's like having a Google search on steroids, except instead of finding cat videos, it's finding hidden assets. Trust me, 
This tool is a game changer for anyone doing penetration testing or security assessments. Chapter 5. BetterCap UI Network Attacks Made Easy Now for those of you who like to keep things visual, we've got BetterCap UI. This is the web-based user interface for BetterCap, a powerful network attack tool that lets you do all sorts of fun stuff. We're talking about sniffing traffic, spoofing websites, and even more advanced techniques like man-in-the-middle attacks and packet manipulation. But here's the thing. BetterCap can be a bit intimidating to use if you're not a command-line wizard. That's where BetterCap UI comes in, providing a sleek and intuitive interface that makes it easy to launch and monitor your attacks. It's like having a graphical user interface for hacking, except instead of clicking on icons, you're clicking on buttons that launch sophisticated network attacks. Don't let the user friendliness fool you though, BetterCap UI is still a powerful tool that should be used responsibly. Whether you're a seasoned professional or a beginner, it's crucial to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. Always use these tools ethically and within the bounds of the law. BetterCap UI not only simplifies the process, but also provides detailed insights and analytics, making it easier to understand the impact of your actions. So dive in, explore, and learn, but always keep in mind the ethical implications of your actions in the digital world. Chapter 6. Dantrikon, Unmasking the DNS. Let's talk about DNS, the often overlooked but critically important part of the Internet. DNS Recon is a tool that's all about uncovering the secrets hidden within DNS records. We're talking about finding subdomains, MX records, zone transfers, you name it. DNS Recon is like having a magnifying glass for DNS, allowing you to see all the intricate details that would otherwise be invisible. It's like having a map of the internet, except instead of showing you roads and cities, it's showing you domain names and IP addresses. If you're serious about penetration testing, you need to be serious about DNS reconnaissance, and that's where DNS Recon comes in. Chapter 7. AWS IAM Prevesk, Taming the Cloud Beast. Moving on to the cloud, we've got AWS IAM Prevesk, a tool that's all about securing your AWS environment. Specifically, it focuses on IAM policies, which control who has access to what in your AWS account. Misconfigured IAM policies can be a huge security risk, allowing attackers to escalate their privileges and gain access to sensitive data. AWS IAM Prevesk helps you identify and fix these misconfigurations before they can be exploited. It's like having a security audit for your AWS account. Except instead of costing you an arm and a leg, it's completely free. If you're using AWS, you need to be using AWS IAM Prevesk. It's that simple. Remember Androbugs from earlier? Well, AppCliques is like its partner in crime, specifically designed to find sensitive information that's been accidentally leaked in Android apps. We're talking about hard-coded secrets, API keys, URIs, you name it. AppCliques scans through APK files with a fine-tooth comb looking for anything that looks out of place. It's like having a security guard for your Android app, except instead of checking for weapons, it's checking for leaked credentials. If you're developing Android apps, you need to be using AppCliques. It's like having a code review that specializes in finding security vulnerabilities. Need to scan a large network quickly? Look no further than Mascan, the speed demon of network scanners. This thing is like Nmap on steroids, capable of scanning millions of IP addresses per second. It's like having a super fast internet connection, except instead of downloading movies, it's scanning entire networks. Mascan is perfect for situations where time is of the essence, like when you're trying to identify active hosts on a large network. It's like having a radar for the internet, except instead of detecting airplanes, it's detecting active devices. If you need speed and efficiency, Mascon is the tool for you. Last but not least, we've got the Harvester, a tool that's all about gathering open source intelligence or OSINT. This thing scours the internet for information about your target, including email addresses, subdomains, IP addresses, and more. It's like having a private investigator for the internet, except instead of charging you an hourly rate, it's completely free. The Harvester is an essential tool for anyone doing penetration testing, security assessments, or just general reconnaissance. It's like having a Google search that's specifically designed to find information about your target. If you're serious about OSINT, you need to be using the Harvester. 
And there you have it, folks. Our top 10 new hacking tools in Kali Linux 2024. I told you you'd want to stick around for this. These tools are seriously powerful. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use these tools ethically and legally and always make sure you have proper authorization before scanning or attacking any systems. Now I'm curious, which of these tools are you most excited to try out? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future cybersecurity goodness. Until next time, stay secure.